I've had several people ask me about the light that I use when I record and I uh, figured I'd take this opportunity to show show everyone the light that I use or kind of the way I have it set up. This is basically just a shop light uh, on a curtain rod that uh, I cemented into a bucket. The shade for the light is just a bunch of pieces of paper that I spray painted black and then uh, just clamped to the rim of the shop light. Kind of looks like a, uh, a terrible top hat if you look at it. First thing I do is take it apart. That's a CFL 40 watt bulb that I took out. That's what I always use for my more dark lit videos and uh, the base of this just unscrews. I wanted to make a new shroud or shade for the lamp so I bought some flashing from Home Depot. I think I paid seven dollars for that. And here I just took a pair of pliers and trying to bend up the rim. This will make a little bit more sense later. After bending the rim with the pliers I needed to clean up the edge so I kind of hammered it down and wanted to make a better kind of 90 degree angle so I ended up with a lip all the way around the, the edge of the light. The material on the lampshade is very soft. It's real easy to work. You could probably hammer this out on a block of wood as easily as on a little mini anvil there. I put on some gloves because the flashing has got a real sharp edge to it and I didn't want to cut myself uh, while I messed around with them. I'm kind of fooling around here trying to figure out the right size that I need for the for the new shade. And it's just a little bit of trial and error until I was able to finally wrap it around and then uh, make a mark with a sharper marker. I needed the um, new shade edges to kind of overlap, so just took a square here and added a couple of inches to give me some room to overlap the material. I used a straight edge just to make sure I got a really straight line, so when I cut it, it'll be nice and straight. The flashing is fairly thin. I'm just using some kitchen shears to cut it. You could probably even use a, a razor or maybe even just a pair of regular scissors. This is probably the trickiest part of the whole build here is trying to get all this stuff to sit still and together. I wanted a tight fit around the lampshade so I was trying to get that as tight as possible. Uh, eventually I figured out if I just clamped the one side and then put a, uh, a strip of tape along the seam it'll help keep it all together. The metal flashing wants to just spring open so it's a little tough but nothing too difficult. I attached everything using some small half inch screws. I just made sure to pre-drill and then screw in the holes in an alternating fashion. I'd go from one side of the lamp to the other side. So I had about maybe eight screws in there total. For this part, a rivet probably would have worked the best, but I just used another screw again, pre-drilling, then just screw it in there. And I decided to add the tape back across the seam because I figured light would probably end up escaping out of there and I'm trying to keep it as tight as possible. And it all just reassembles uh, back the same way, just screw on the base and then uh, screw on the light bulb and take it for a test drive. This is what the lamp looks like. To me it looked a little brighter than the other one and I figured maybe I should paint the inside of it black. Maybe that'll help kind of tone down the light a little bit. So that's what I did. I took it apart and uh, painted it black. I like to listen to podcasts while I work and that day I was listening to the Fools with Tools podcast. It's with uh, Steve House, Alex Halfpenny, and Brett McAfee. It's a good podcast. Highly recommend it. Since the flashing is so shiny, I decided to take some sandpaper and just scuff it up so that the uh, paint would adhere a little bit better. I was using uh, flat black, did a couple of coats of that across the whole piece there. Once it was dry, I just uh, rolled it back together and reattached everything. This is a shot of what the light looked like before I painted the inside of it. And then next is a shot of what the light looks like after I painted the inside of it. Something I noticed is that the light looks a lot more spread out than the paper shade that I had made, which may or may not affect uh, how my videos look. I guess I'll find out uh, after I film the first one. 
So there you go. It's a pretty simple build. I think I have maybe $15 into the whole thing, maybe 20 if that. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks for watching.